Good morning, Modern Statters. Today, this is something we've been waiting for for four years. Are you ready? Look what we just unburied. We have a Kalamazoo Prince wood cook stove we've had sitting in our basement since before the house was built. And now, we're gonna put it in the off-grid outdoor kitchen. This is the top part to it with a warming box, and that's the base. Give it a quick rinse off. We'll clean it better when it's all set up, but let's try to get some of this dust off of this thing. The blunt of the heavy stuff. be 18 inches from any combustibles. It's kind of far off the wall, but I think to be on the safe side is how far we need to be. man you've been watching for a while you know I love my ratchet straps let's see what happens when we pick up on this drive it anywhere let's make sure it's stable I don't think she's gonna go anywhere I think we got it pretty good okay let's give it a shot Now I'm kind of thinking that if we get the tractor out of the way, we can 
back up and spin the stove and get it sitting on the base correctly. There's any weight on the tractor bucket itself, per se. The stove should stay. Awesome. All right. So now I gotta jig and jag it. We got the stove set in place. We need to work on the chimney. We change the position of the stove. It's gonna be kitty cornered now. You happy? Yes. All right. Now we gotta figure out the position for the stove pipe. So we gotta cut our through the wall thimble in. I gotta figure out the position of everything. Don't want to be closer than 18 inches to any combustible. So for that, that works. I can come over a smidge. Hello, <laughs> we're halfway there. It scares me every time. Scared you, and you told me about it. Hopefully it fits. We got a hole in our wall. It better fit now. It better fit. If it's not, it better be too small, not too big. That's right. Alright, this goes on the outside, but let's try it. This is the baddest piece, anyways. The baddest? Oh, okay. fattest. Okay, so I gotta trim up this one side, which I thought we had. Because it's not circular? Circular? Well, I didn't, I didn't cut it because the other board. Awesome. awesome! Now I can go outside and mount this. Level it off. Make sure it looks pretty. I gotta get the right screws, but... Why don't you have the right screws? They don't give, they didn't give you the screws for this. See, they gave you screws, but just, or no they screws? They gave you screws, but they just didn't give you screws for this part. I'm just temporarily securing it with the drywall screws. What kind of screws do you need? They have pan heads, so they got a flat base. And oh, so they're the like house. flat. Yeah. But these are more, these are for wood? These are for drywall. Oh. Probably why they call them a drywall screw. Yep. All right, this pot is always the fun pot. Do you need a different bit? It should have the um, drive bit in there. 
Having wood siding, real wood sidings, you can just screw to it anywhere. You don't gotta worry about finding a stud. They put stickers all over everything. Grab me the hammer. What's that? This is one of the damaged pipes from when we built the house. But guess what? You're not going to see it out back here. The pigs might see it, but I don't think they'll mind. You can get the other one on. Same way. Oh my goodness, I can't watch. Do like your bogs help? Like, do they have a good gripper? I think they have an awesome grip, and they're flexible. So like, your feet actually bend, you know, bend around and move on stuff. And yeah. All right. So now we're gonna put our band clamp in place Ooh. to lock it in place. I can't even see it. What is that for? That's just so to lock it. So now you can't untwist. Okay. So it doesn't like go down around the. It should cover the it, two pieces. It doesn't. So on this side it doesn't. I don't think I'll be behind here very often, but. Yep. I'm trying to get the other battery. Uh oh. Hold this all in one piece while we put it up. Will that make it harder for you to put it out? I don't know. We'll let's find out. I, if I can do it all, it'll be easier. Okay. I just want to line. You don't have to, but I want to line these up the best I can. That's good. And I'm going to put the rain cap on too. I like that old wood cook stove. I want, I don't, don't think I'd be happier than the house with it. No, it's okay. Because it too has to be it's too far away and it's not exactly the colors I would love in my house. Right. But I like it. Pretty awesome out here. Good, are you helping? Huh? Here comes the rain cap. That's it. That's it? That's what you do? <laughs> Just sits on there and go. What if it's a heavy storm? Well, you can clamp it. But that's it. But how does it really clamp to it? It's got these little... Oh, those little side things. These little I see. side things. That... I see. It's kind of a tiny screw for a big hole. Get that up the tree. I mean, up the ladder.
Good. Oh, that's a rock over. And it wasn't us. Good. Well, it's not hard to mow rocks around here. Nope. Careful. Can you do that? What? Are you gonna be able to do that? I'm gonna try. What do you need me to do? I don't. What's even better? It's the top one sailed the first time. Oh, good, cause. Cause I weren't taking that back off. Cause I can't take that. <laughs> I don't feel good. Awesome. Eight inch stove pipe is pretty big. That's, That's bigger than you. I'm trying to fix it a little bit. It's off a smidge, but not bad. Oh, fine. Clamp up, pull it down, get the clamp in a better position, then I can try to. Is that clamp supposed to be down low? I gotta, yeah, I just get a little slide. Oh, yeah, yeah but it's not gonna empty. slide. I need the drill next, please. I'm sweating and you've got a sweater on. Yeah. Thank you. You want to come up here and do this? No? What do you think, Mom? Should you come up here and do this? No. No? I don't think so. She can go on my shoulders. Huh? I can put her on my shoulders. Ah, uh, no. Not when I'm around, you can't. What a mess with all the cardboard boxes. Whew. We need to go recycle them. I know there's gonna be some modern stutters asking, why'd we go with an eight inch chimney? That looks huge. It is, there's a little backstory to that. The reason we went with the eight inch chimney here is, I'm not sure if this is a seven inch or a six inch stove pipe right there. That's oblong, it's a squished stove pipe. But that's not the main reason we did the eight inch. When we built the house here, we put our chimney in, we needed an eight inch chimney for the wood stove we put in the basement. And when we got the stove pipes in, there was four of them that were damaged. We called up the company, because we ordered them through the internet, and they said, yeah, we'll mail you out new ones, and they didn't want the old ones back. So I had four sections of that triple wall pipe that I needed to use. It was free. I wasn't going to buy a whole new chimney, a six inch for out here, so I just bought an eight inch through the wall kit. So we have two four foot sections of stove pipe, and then a foot long with our rain cap on there. This is our T, the bracket, and it's got a clean out on the bottom. You take the clean out out here, you run your brush in. You wanna use a plastic brush. If you use a metal one, you'll void the warranty that's on the chimney. In the through wall kit that we got this morning comes the T, the clean out, the bracket, the cap, and then you have your thimble and they send you the rain cap, one bracket, and a foot long piece that goes through the wall. The company that we got is Selkirk. One way to check to see if you have a good draft is to start a piece of paper on fire. Let's see if it pulls it out. And it's pulling the smoke out. Grab the camera and show you. See that from there? It's pulling the smoke up and out the chimney. Sucking it in. The other thing too is but the colder out it gets, the stronger draft you're gonna have. So today is 80 and humid. So it still has a draft, which is a good thing. We're getting that much closer to having our antique wood cook stove hooked up in the outdoor kitchen. It's gonna be exciting. We have a back for it, you guys saw. 
warmer top. I gotta get that installed, but first, I need to clean the top. It's got some nasty, gooey stuff on it, and that's gonna get cleaned up. And I gotta find the stove pipe that we need, and we're almost there. This is getting exciting. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps the channel grow. We wanna thank you for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.